What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today's video is brought to you guys by iMobi and we are taking a look at their AnyTrans software. We've actually taken a look at this in the past and I've gone over some of the main features. For example, you get yourself data transfer tools. You also get yourself a one spot for all your management needs. So it's a really awesome file manager. And of course, there's a ton of different things that we're actually gonna go over right now. So as you guys can see, I have my welcome to my device manager. And as you can see, these are all the different options that you have. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and connect my iPad to this to show you guys all the different things that I can do. Now, as you guys can see, you can actually attach a iCloud account to this or you can attach your device. So right now I got myself my iPad and you can even have multiple devices being managed down here as well. So let's go ahead and hit next. So introducing eight quick shortcuts to bring the easiest iPhone management solutions. So of course, they actually updated the program recently and it's a lot smoother, it's a lot quicker and it has a few more features we're actually gonna go on in depth in this video. So choose quick shortcuts or switch to iOS content category management panel. How cool is that? So these are all the different categories that we have in terms of iOS content. And then of course, these are all the different things you can do with the device manager. So as you can see, you can transfer and manage data among the iPhone. So I can simply hit that. And as you can see, I can add content. I can clone a device. There's an option to use an iPhone as a USB drive in case you wanna, you know, just store random things on it. And you can even merge different iPhones. This is a really spectacular time of the year because the brand new iPhone, uh, iPhones just came out. So of course you might be jumping from one device to the next and you don't really want to deal with iCloud backup because you know that stuff sometimes it just doesn't work so if you want to do it onto you know your computer then this is probably a great spot to go ahead and get started so next off we also got ourselves our air backup manager so as you can see you can back up all your iphone data on a schedule or of course have it automatically backed up via wi-fi so it's a really awesome little backup manager and you can even schedule everything whether it's three days or you can do an instant backup from here on out now a really cool feature this has is let's say you see a youtube video and you're like whoa that song is really amazing I want it to go straight to my iPhone right away. Well, this thing actually has a media downloader where you could take maybe my YouTube video because I don't know, my voice is that amazing and you want it on your iPhone and you can simply paste it into here, whether it's BBC, Dailymotion, Instagram, or even Vimeo or YouTube, you can go ahead and simply paste the link and it will download it directly to your device. How cool is that? Then of course, there's an iCloud manager, as I just mentioned, there's an iOS mover. So if you're coming from Android, you know, you got yourself a new Samsung, but then you saw those beautiful screens on the brand new iPhones, you might be moving to this device. Here's the iTunes library, so you know you can sync all your iTunes, uh, you know, music and movies and all that directly onto here. And lastly, there's the backup manager. So if you want to extract data from an iTunes backup, I actually have a separate video on that. I'll link below so you can actually go do that as well. But I want to really take a look at the three new features that they have, and one is the ringtone manager. So you can actually customize the ringtones or text tones on your iPhone. How cool is this? So as you can see, you can search media or even go through your current ringtone library, but I don't have any. So what if I want to go ahead and create it well I can create it using iTunes my device itself or my computer I'm simply gonna drag a random music file let's see what I can find uh, we have this song right here so I'm simply gonna drag this in and I'm gonna try to turn this into a ringtone but you can actually make a text tone as well as you can see you can simply drag and choose the favorite part of that song maybe I'm a really big fan of the beginning of this song actually and then right from there you can actually save it to your ringtone library or you can go ahead and save it and onto your device directly from here, importing ringtone to device. How cool is that? I know everyone wants their custom ringtones and you can of course find a massive amount of ringtones online. This is just a really easy way to get them directly onto your device. So now of course I have that song directly in my ringtone library in case I wanna get rid of it on my device or bring it back. How cool is that? Next off, of course, we got ourselves our app downloader. So download an app from the app store or update and install the app library to the iPhone directly. So I'm simply gonna hit this real quick and let's say I want to go ahead and get myself snapchat so I'm just gonna hit snapchat I would like to download the app from the App Store I do have to sign in so I'm gonna do that real quick all right so as you guys can see I have all these different applications that popped up for snapchat and you can go do this for any app that is on the App Store so of course we have Facebook right here and I can download it directly onto here you did not purchase Facebook uh, you have to first purchase it for first all right so let's go ahead and try messenger instead since I have gotten that on my device and just like that it is in my app library so you ask what can i actually do from here well 
as you can see it is now in my full-on library and of course I can go ahead and install this directly onto my device and I already have it on my device but if this was a new application then I can go ahead and manage that directly from here how cool is that so of course last but not least I'm gonna show you guys a random thing they allow you to do now and this of course is one of the things on the home screen that I didn't mention at first it's called the home screen manager so of course you can actually go ahead and arrange, clean up, or back up all the different home screens on your device. So as you can see, you can clean the gray app icon, you can arrange the home screen, you can back up your home screen. So you know, if you're moving from another device, one of the most tedious things I've noticed is that, you know, Apple doesn't really back up where your icons were. So you have to go and make all the folders and pages and all that over again, and that can be pretty tedious. So this is a pretty cool feature. So of course I can restore the home screen and back it up. But for now, let's go ahead and try to arrange it. They take things to the next level. As you can see, you can actually classify by color. You can classify with folders or with pages and there's even intelligent classification so it'll actually go ahead and do it on a group all the applications on its own based on a variety of factors so of course my home screens are a mess right now so I'm curious as to what this will do there's also a way to have manual classifications so you know if you want uh, individual pages and then you want a page for entertainment navigation productivity things like that you can go ahead and do that as well so I'm gonna classify with pages intelligent classification and I'm just gonna go ahead and distinct a device and I'm just curious as to what this will come up with. Wow, doesn't that look much, much cleaner? Look at that. I have all these folders, social networking, productivity, a folder for photos. Look how much cleaner that is. I had like 30 different home screens 10 seconds ago, and then this thing just went ahead and did that. And as I just mentioned before, you can choose your own folders, but I can go ahead and click on this. And if I want, I can go ahead and rearrange or rename any of this directly from here. How cool is that? All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. So leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe. There's some really awesome features, and I'd say AnyTrans as actually the best uh, software I've tested in terms of managing your iPhone to date. So I've tested all of them that I'm pretty sure are out there. And this I would like to personally say is the best one I've tried. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.